Hey guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my collection of shrink plastic. It's been a while since I've done a shrink plastic video and I've been wanting to get back into it recently. So some of these I've had in previous videos and some of them have never been seen before. I am going to start with these because these were the little guys that I made in my first shrink plastic video. If you don't know anything about shrink plastic and you want to know how to make these, uh, you can watch that video. I'll put the link in the corner right now. And they are, whoops, starting off well. And they are all just stuck on paper clips. So here's the pig, the cat, a little duck with, I love the little hair on the duck, a dinosaur, a little blue bunny, and a purple panda. I'm gonna start getting into the ones that haven't been on camera yet. Um, these are actually the same animals. I just did them in different colors. I'm missing one. There we go. And you will notice that there's a little more shine to this. Let me get a side by side. The pink bunny has kind of like a 3D shine to it as opposed to this one that's a little shiny but it's flatter. This one is coated with just regular Mod Podge and this one I used Dimensional Magic. Oh look, I just happen to have some right here. This is Dimensional Magic, it's still Mod Podge, it just gives you a little bit of Dimensional Magic. <laughs> and then I did a purple cat, a white duck, a regular colored panda, cream colored pig, and a blue and orange uh, dinosaur. Then I have these two cats, which are so cute. Um, I do draw all of my templates from scratch. Mm. Hello? Ugh, okay. Okay, yeah, great, student loans. Thank you for reminding me. I have these little unicorns. As you can tell, I like to do things in multiples. Um, I don't know, I just, I, I do. Oh, these are weird, okay. So, <laughs> I have these which are quite weird, I will say. They're just, um, blobs. <laughs> this hamburger one was the first one that I made. It was actually inspired by a school project that I did. We had to do a stop motion and I decided to do a blob with a hamburger for my stop motion and then it just expanded from there. I'll include that video as like an unlisted video in the links if you want to see it just as a little fun extra. This one came next which is a blob eating a cupcake and then this one is a cupcake blob. This is another cupcake blob. This is a strawberry blob, an angel blob. What the heck? Random uh, colorful blob, an emoji blob, and a baby blob. Then I have some food items. These two, which are ice cream cones, obviously. I've got a Neapolitan ice cream cone and a rainbow ice cream cone. Also, I haven't really made these into anything yet. Like they're not, they could be pins or magnets or probably should give these a purpose in life. This banana, which has a hole in the top because I was gonna make it into some sort of charm or keychain. I just haven't gotten around to it really yet. <gasps> I only have one donut. Oh, that must be fixed. I have one donut, but this, I'm definitely gonna make more donuts because that's just not right. Oh, never mind. I do have more, but they're in my pin collection. You'll see that in a second. The cupcake triplets here. Um, we've got this one, which is pretty cute, and then a rainbow one, and this one. Getting a little crowded down here. This is a loner cupcake because it's actually a different template than this one. Um, when I say template, I just mean the drawing. Some people have asked me to provide the drawings as downloads so that they can use them as templates, um, which I could do. I did those for the animals. Um, it's just kind of time consuming because right now my drawings are like a mess so I have to clean them up if I'm gonna provide them as templates for you guys to use otherwise you will not know what is going on next I have this s'more s'mores s'more s'mores it doesn't sound like a word anymore anyway 
I like the drippy chocolate and such. I have a hamburger, of course. And this is one of my favorites. I have a cinnamon roll. What do you think I should make these into? Pins, magnets, etc. Come on, ladies, it's showtime. Uh, so I have a pretty significant series here. These are Disney princesses, and I did just draw these. I kind of made like my own little cute versions of the Disney princesses. We've got Mulan here. This is Jasmine. Snow White, one of my faves. Um, what's her face? Oh, Anna. <laughs> Anna. I feel like we need to show Anna and Elsa together. So, Anna and Elsa. Tiana. I love the way her dress came out. Pocahontas, which I actually don't think I've ever seen Pocahontas all the way through. Is that bad? Aurora. Here's Belle. Here's Moana. She looks like she's got an attitude. <laughs> oh, I tried to make their faces like kind of different to like show their personalities. Rapunzel, who's got a little eye infection. There was a little dust of pink in her eye and I put the glaze on and it just kind of expanded and bled out, which is sad because Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess. So I will probably redo this one when I get the time. This is Merida. Cinderella, who has a very skinny neck. <laughs> and finally, Ariel, which is actually probably my favorite one of these that I made. Uh, I don't know, I like the way her hair and her tail are. I think that's cool. I made 100 shrink plastic pins in one video. It took me a week and it was brutal. I don't have all 100 anymore. I sold, I think, 20 of them, so I have about 80 left. Look at me, I can math. I have Minnie and Mickey, and as I said, these are all pins, so they all have pin backs, and ordinarily they are on my pin board, which you can see in the background of some of my videos. So there's Minnie and Minnie. Minnie and Minnie, no, no, Minnie and Mickey. And I guess while we're on the Minnie and Mickey train, we'll go with these Disney cupcakes. So I have a Minnie and Mickey cupcake, and then their besties, Donald Duck and Daisy. Here's a couple more Disney characters. So here's Stitch, who is one of my favorites. Dumbo, Scrump. <gasps> I want to make a real life Scrump, like actually make a Scrump plush. Sorry, I'm just having ideas right now. And I have this little set, which these are loosely based on the little icons that are in my intro. So this is the art one, the craft one, and the squishy one. So yeah, they're, the colors are a little bit different, but here's a random one. This is just a Polaroid camera. Yeah, here's another random one. It's just a little star wearing a bow. Okay, this is actually one that my friend made. Um, in that video, I kind of made it a challenge. I was like, oh, one of these I did not make. Which one do you think it is? And it was this one. I put the answer in the description box, but I don't think most people read the description box, so people are like still guessing. Yeah, so this was my version of that, of this mushroom. Here's another cupcake, chocolate cupcake. Oh, I actually love this one. It's really cute. I don't know. I just really like this. It's just a little thing of balloons. Here's my sheep. These are really large. I have a boy sheep and a girl sheep. They kind of look like cotton candy with faces. And while I'm going with the boy and girl thing, I've got these. And these were actually inspired by that little stuffed animal that I have on my desk. You can see it in the background of some of my videos. His name is Shia, and he's not creepy, as some people like to say. I have these two bows, a pink one and a polka dot blue one. Hearts, I don't know why there's stuff dripping off of them. I don't know, maybe they're like candy hearts or something. Yeah, we'll go with that. I have two emojis, the tongue one and the barfing one. I just think the barfing one is too funny. I don't know, it's barf, it's funny. Oh, let me get naked real quick. <laughs> I have this Russian nesting doll. <laughs> Such a random idea. I, I actually really like Russian nesting dolls, but I've never had one before. I have a cactus or cacti. 
there's two of them, so yeah, cacti. This little banner thing, I think it's kind of cute. I have this little set of ice cream animals. There's a bear, a bunny, and a cat. I kind of want to make some squishies based off of these because I really like them. I always do that, like, I recycle my own ideas. I don't know why the bunny is kind of fatter than the other ones. I mean, it's okay. I'm not, like, fat shaming you. I'm just saying you're, why are you fatter? I have a rubber duck. Here's another mushroom. This is using a different drawing though. I have a YouTube play button. This is the one that a lot of people guessed my friend made, I guess because it's like simple. A surprising amount of people actually got it right though. I have a lot of fruit. Um, I've got a peach, a chocolate dipped strawberry, a lemon, an apple, a mango, which is probably my favorite, pineapple, a set of cherries, an avocado, an orange, just kidding, I say orange, but, and a watermelon slice. I have these two little ice cream cones, which are much smaller than, huh, look at that, much smaller than the other ones that I made outside of the video. I have these two lollipops, which I like, but they kind of, Especially this one, it looks really tall and like long. It looks like I just stretched it out. I guess I just drew them kind of wonky, but they're still cute lollipops. I have these two popsicles. One is bitten, one is not. I have two donuts, which are bitten. I have a rainbow because uh, if you haven't noticed, I love rainbow. I have this fast food set, which always makes me hungry when I look at it. I have a Pepsi. This one turned out kind of dark for some reason. I don't know why the blue came out really dark, but here's a umbrella or a parasol type thing. I have another animal series, which I love these. They're so cute. Um, I have a bunny with a big bow. A cat, wait, do they all have bows? Yeah, I think they all have bows. I have a cat with a red bow, a little bear, uh, a green panda, a blue cow, this unicorn, which also turned out kind of darker than I wanted, but I still like it. This orange dog. This one, which is so cute. I think it's a chipmunk hamster gerbil. I think it's a chipmunk. And a pig, which looks very similar to this pig, but it's got a body and a bow, so it's kind of different. Oh, I knew I had another ice cream cone. Where are your friends? I had another ice cream cone as well. I have this Shiba Inu head. I love Shibas. I have this little cat, which kind of looks like Opie. I have this little hot chocolate coffee thing. I don't know, but it's cute. I have some jelly toast, and I like to put these next to each other because I think that they look cute together. These two cake rolls, a chocolate one and a strawberry one. I have this cotton candy, a rainbow layer cake, a burrito, and this is a Chipotle burrito. It's It's gotta be a little poop. A Pop-Tart, which I feel like you can't really tell what this is. I don't know why, but I just feel like it's not obvious what this is. A slice of pizza with peppers and olives. I don't like peppers on my pizza, but hmm, the visual impact is nice. I have this popsicle pretending to be a hamburger, or a hamburger with legs, whatever. <laughs> I have a melted ice cream cone and these three pieces of cheesecake, a plain cheesecake, a strawberry chocolate cheesecake, and this looks like, like confetti or sprinkle cheesecake, I guess. And finally, the last shrink plastic piece I have 
is this rainbow unicorn. That's my entire shrink plastic collection as of now. I really do wanna expand and make more of these because I really love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you made it to the end, you're the best. This is like the second collection video I put out recently, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. I will see you on Friday, bye. Oh my gosh, how could I do this? As I was cleaning up, I found this guy. I forgot to put him in the video. It's a rainbow cat in a cloud. One of my favorites, so I just had to come back and include him because he's important.